Hey guys, welcome back into the studio. So one of the most, I'd say the most question I get is somebody will look at one of my paintings and say, oh my gosh, did you see that? Were you there? Is that, did that happen? And 99.99999% of all my paintings are absolutely that was something that I experienced out in the bush, out in the wild, interacting with nature. So I just thought of all the funny stories, scary stories, and cool stories that uh, I've experienced over the years. And I thought I'd make a little series telling you about how a lot of these paintings came to be and the backstory behind them. So the first one is Botswana King. Yeah. Botswana King came around about 20 years ago and um, it was the first trip that my wife Suzanne and I took uh, together and we actually went with four other artists and uh, we were a lot younger then and we decided we're going to uh, rough it we're going to get the real Africa experience and we're going to tent it across Africa we're going to tent it across Botswana Zambia Zimbabwe and Namibia no hotels we're, we're going to do it the right way we're going to see nature well it was the the most fantastic trip I've ever had in my life. We loved it so much. Uh, uh, to this day, I can't think of a trip that I enjoyed more and really felt like I got that full outdoor nature experience than going through those uh, four countries in uh, South Africa. So anyways, Botswana King, it was the second night we were in Africa and we're just enjoying it, we're in awe. And we get woken up about two, three in the morning and this lion is roaring and it is so loud that you can feel the bass of the voice vibrating and like you're vibrating with the the voice there's it's that loud and that deep and my wife and i are panicking we're thinking oh my god we finally get to africa and we're gonna get eaten the first night we're here so anyways we stayed up most of the night panicking i think we did fall asleep for you know, a little later but uh, we we were Vigil for the whole night that that's for sure. I think that's a good word to be vigil for the rest of the night So we get up in the morning and the first thing our guide says to us is Did you hear the lions roaring last night? They were like roaring. We thought they were gonna eat us there that close And the guide said no, that's not the way it works in Africa in Africa It's when it's quiet is when you worry when they're vocalizing, they're telling their own pride where they are telling other pride This is ours back off. It's when you don't hear anything that you start looking around and behind your back in Africa. So it was Sue and I looked at each other and we said, yeah, that information would have been good 24 hours ago. We didn't spend the whole night thinking we are going to get eaten in Africa. So we had a good laugh about that. So anyways, we packed up our tents, uh, had our breakfast, what have you, got into the Hummer and uh, our, or the uh, Land Rover. And we went to leave and we were camped right by uh, an acacia thicket. And you always do that because it's very thorny and lines, they, they're not keen on going through the, the uh, acacia thicket. So that gives you a little protection. You always, you know, put your tents in front of them so you don't have to worry about anything coming from behind, only from in front. Anyways, as we drove around this acacia thicket, there they are. The whole pride is laying there on the uh, savannah or on the pans and they're all doing what they normally do. They're just sleeping in the big male. He's laying on his side. He raises up. He takes one look at us and he lays back down. And Botswana King is that one to two second moment when his eyes and my eyes met and we made that connection out there in the middle of wild Africa. And it was exhilarating I can to this day I can still remember the thrill I felt when uh, that happened because this one he was so close and there was that backstory with him and uh, uh, the the kicker of it all was 20 years ago it was film it wasn't digital camera so it was four weeks before I got to see whether I got a good shot of him or not uh, because it was right at the beginning of our tour so there was three weeks to go on the tour and then another week to get it developed and when I got home you could imagine my thrill when uh, I got some really great shots of the whole pride and uh, um, I had to manipulate the lighting a lot but uh, but Botswana King is that split second moment between him and I where we 
both connected and it doesn't last very long as usually it does in the wild. It's there and it's gone. But that's Botswana King. That's the interaction. That's the inspiration. And that's the painting.